Welcome back everybody to my channel. So today I've got a new surprise. It's a Razer Huntsman V3 Pro 10 keyless. It's uh, it just got released actually. I've been looking on YouTube and I haven't seen any videos about it. So I think I'm uh, probably gonna be one of the first people to actually give it a run and see how it compares uh, my uh, Drunk Gear A75. I also had the Steel Series uh, TKL 2023 that I recently reviewed, so you can check out my channel if you want to see that. But uh, so this new keyboard, uh, it it features Razer's uh, Gen 2 uh, analog optical switches. Um, you know, so they claim that these new switches have a 0.1 millimeter to 4 millimeter actuation with 40 grams of actuation force. Uh, I believe the Gen 1s had uh, an actuation distance of one and a half millimeters or 3.6, I believe. So these are these are more now up to par, I would say, Wooting and uh, what Steel Series has, and uh, also what, what Drunk Deer has. Uh, so they're uh, you know 0.1 millimeter uh, increments to all the way to four. Uh, of course, this keyboard features a rapid trigger. Uh, you know the previous Huntsman also had it, but it wasn't the best. Uh, you know Razer's implementation was lacking both in latency and uh, just and and I heard there was also lag because. Uh, the profiles and the changes for rapid trigger were saved on the PC rather than the keyboard, but now things are different. Uh, with this keyboard, they've got you know new onboard adjustments. Uh, they've got an LED array uh, where you can make adjustments on the fly, and uh, you know you can change your rapid trigger uh, with a knob uh, by pressing F1. Uh, you know a two two key action, so you you know hit. I believe it's a uh, FN uh, function and caps lock, and you're able to adjust your rapid trigger settings. And then you press uh, caps lock uh, again to uh, trig uh, to toggle it on and off. Um, you can also change actuation mode on the keyboard itself. You hit your function key in your tab, and you're able to start adjusting it. Uh, and then you press any other key, and you can adjust the height and use a digital dial dial or the arrow keys to adjust uh, adjust the actuation point for it. And then once you hit escape, then it you know saves it to your onboard memory. So that's a good thing to know that they've added onboard memory to these keyboards. Uh, just to, like I said, like Wooting has, like Drug Gear has, like Steel Series has. So uh, it's with this keyboard, this generation, the new Huntsman line that uh, Razer has caught up. So there's also uh, three form factors that Razer has released this new Huntsman line in. Uh, so they've got the uh, 60%, they've got a full version, and now they have this TKL that I'm going to be reviewing today. So anyway, uh, let's get started with unboxing. So before I do that, before I start with unboxing, I just want to go over what's on the box here. So, you know, you've got the Razer keyboard, 0.1 uh, to 4.0 uh, millimeters adjustable actuation. Talks about rapid trigger um, for the pros. Okay. And yeah, Razer's big about using pros to advertise their new keyboard. Um, so, on the back, you know, they've got a picture of it again, and they talk about their texture, double shot keyboards, 10 list key. T TKL form factor, uh, multifunction digital dial, and dedicated control buttons. And um, then they talk about their switch over here a little bit. Oh, you know, it's a Mac Gen 2, and that's about it, really. I don't really see anything else that's worth talking about out of the box. So that said, I think I'll just uh, go ahead and open it up. So I got these piece of tape here. I know a lot of people just go ahead and cut it, but I'm a little OCD where I like opening it up. Whoa. Okay. So there's the keyboard. And uh, go green with razor. Okay, this wrapper is made of plastic with at least 30% post-consumer recycled content. All right, razor, good for you. Good for the environment, I guess. Um, yeah. You know, this thing is uh, surprisingly lightweight but it feels good from what i can tell so far let me open this up all right actually you know what? let's get to this in a second let's see what else is in the box and then we'll open it up um all right so uh you got the quick profile swap keyboard uh i guess there's a little guide here of how to do key presses so let me see if you guys can see that on camera all right uh right there okay let's move on and then you got this So user manual so maximize your d device with the razor synapse all right uh and what else we got here oh what's this oh look at that some stickers so you got some swag all right so we'll put this back here and what else we got in here there it is 
there's your type A to C cable. Okay, let me see if you can bring that into view. Type A to type C cable. And there's a leather. Let me open this up actually. I'm curious how this feels. There's a wrist pad. It's not very thick though. Look at it. It's super thin. It's kind of disappointing actually. Um, not gonna lie. I was hoping it'd be thicker than this. This feels doesn't feel that great either. So here it is. Uh, leatherette, huh? Yeah, I mean, I guess it is leather, pseudo leather, man-made leather, whatever. You know, but um, I don't know. It'll do. It'll do. It's not as comfortable as um, the one that I use for my drunk gear. That's for sure. I've got. Let me show you guys real quick. I've got this that I use for my drunk deer, uh, with my drunk deer, the glorious PC gaming race one. Uh, and this thing is super comfortable when I put my wrist on it. It's not, it's just, you know, made out of cloth, but you can see it's got memory foam, I guess, in there. You see that when I press down, that's comfortable and it, it feels good when I use it. Some people have said that it feels a little high for them. Not for me though. I like the way it feels. This thing just got no padding at all. It's like a slab. It's like a cheap, cheap piece of plastic rubber or plastic with a little bit of a leather overlaid on there pretty disappointing not gonna lie I, I thought it'd be thicker and more comfortable I think the previous previous huntsman's I think the lead or whatever might have had a more comfortable and thicker leatherette so I'm not I gotta say I'm super disappointed with this uh, okay so anyway let's move on um let's put this back in here let's get back to the actual star of the show which is the keyboard let me put this to the side and here we are. Here's the actual keyboard. All right, so let's, get, let's open this up. Okay. So let me get this more in view a little bit. All right. So here we are. Here's the keyboard. Um, there's a dial. Buttons. See how it feels to type on real quick. Sounds better than the than the Steel Series did in my last video. You can check out my last video to see how the Steel Series sounds, but this is definitely better. Yeah, um, and if you guys are curious about um, how the drunk deer sounds in comparison, here's the drunk deer. I'll do a. I'll save this for the rest of the video. This is just the unboxing portion, but I'll give you guys a quick, you know, quick preview. So, um, first, drunk deer sounds better. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll go more and I'll, you know, I'll go into um, more depth when I review these, but right out of the box, yeah, this drunk deer sounds better when you type on it. But that's it's not significantly better like it was compared to the Steel Series. Uh, this doesn't sound bad at all, actually. Actually, this sounds pretty damn good. I'm gonna take it back. It doesn't sound hollow like the Steel Series keyboard did. Um, yeah, feels good. Good job, Razor. You could see the. Did you guys notice every single switch? Has this looks like a stabilizer. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in here. I'm gonna try to. Uh, there we go. There's your Gen 2s. You see the stabilizer with them? Right there. Yeah. So, and uh, let, me, let me see the top part of this aluminum. Like the claim? Yeah. I mean, I guess. I don't know. They say this is brushed aluminum, the top part. I guess it is. Feels almost plasticky though. They claim this top part is brushed aluminum. I mean, so I'll take Razor's word for it that it is. Um, yeah, because you can see the clear separation. You see the top of the keyboard and the and the rest of the bottom of it is the bottom is plastic. Yeah, yeah, you can tell the difference. Look. Now that's that's plastic. Oh, I like that. For gamers by gamers, like it's etched to the plastic. That's kind of nice. And then you got the feet here. 
Um, I'd never use these, but if you do, you know, you got those available. You got the rubber feet here all over the keyboard. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the unboxing, I suppose. Um, I mean, I, I could plug it in. Let me use a drunk deer key just because I don't have uh, the razor one out yet. Let's just plug this in. Should be all USB C, so it should work. All right. There you go. Look at that. And then if I move this around, it's changing the volume on there. But uh, yeah, I'll save the rest for the review video. But uh, there you go. That's initial unboxing. Uh, L the RGB LEDs, by the way, they look nice and crisp. Um, I'm actually impressed. It looks really nice. And initial impressions looks like a good keyboard. I'm looking forward to giving it a test run. I'll probably use it for the next few days and then I'll come back with a review and give my impressions. But initial impressions are, uh, I definitely like it. Uh, big improvement compared to Steel Series. And uh, typing wise, it's pretty damn good. It's different than Drunk Deer from what I can tell. But yeah, it sounds good. Doesn't sound hollow. Not hearing any keeping. Solid job, Razor. Solid job. Looking forward to the review. All right, guys. Take care.